Rolo is leading the eighth race post spread at Woodbine for the Good Time Stakes Championship Final. Dave Miller driving trained by Gary Lemeister for Robert Alcouet. Manon Briette and Joan Picard, number one, Rolo and Dave Miller. Two BJ's King, Luke Willett in the bike, conditioned by Jonas Stutzman, races under lease to Robert Key, two BJ's King, Luke Willett. Vino Camiele, three, has Jack Moisev in the bike, trainer Anders Walton for Erki Lachanen and Eli Iverson. Number three, Vino Camiel, Jack Moisev. Great George, two, is number four. Bill Roberts trains for Graham Grace Stables. The M&W Stables, Bill Roberts co-owns Jonathan Roberts in the bike of four, Great George, two. Travel in light five with Chris Christopher in the bike, trained by Bob Stewart for Peter Heffering, Bill Jones, and Benjamin Taylor. Ron Pierce to drive six, classic photo, Irvin Miller conditioning. For H. Wright, Mystical Marker Farms, Peggy, Jack Hood with Ron Pierce at the Reds. Brian Sears, driver of seven, Lone Star Cosmos. Conditioned by Jonas Zernison for Bob Rosenheim Stables and Cosmos Horse Breeders. The eight is Stonebridge Diablo. Trainer Ron Waples, Jr. He co-owns with driver Randy Waples. The other co-owners, Dr. Sheila Atmore and Al Kirschenbaum. John Campbell has the mount on nine, bear it all. Co-owner trainer is Chris Beaver, co-owned by David Lang. And the ten is Bronca Leone with Mike Vanderkamp, trainer driver for Adam, Victor, and son. The purse is $342,100, championship final of the 2005 Good Time Stakes. Now a breaker into the stretch. And it's Great George 2 on a break. The favorite is off stride and they're underway in the 2005 Good Time Stakes Final. And a shocking development. Great George 2, a 1-5 to five favorite, was out of it early. Also off stride, BJ's King. There goes Bronco Leone from the 10 post to the lead. Classic photo. Came away in second. Rolo is third. Vino Camiel is fourth. Traveling light takes in from fifth. Sixth one away was Lone Star Cosmos. Then Stonebridge Diablo is seventh. Eighth one away was Barrett All. Then BJ's King. Great George two after a gate break is gapped out by about 10 more lengths. Bronco Leone out front. 27 seconds flat. Bronco Leone into the back stretch. Looking anxious in third. There goes Rolo. Rolo and Dave Miller pulls him out and takes him to the top in the second quarter putting the rush move on 90 to one shot. Bronco Leone. Classic photo right there on the inside is third. Vigno Camille not far away from fourth. Traveling light by two more lengths in fifth. Lone Star Cosmos by four more lengths is six. Great George two trying to get back into it is valiantly seventh on the outside and then it's back to Stonebridge Diablo and Barrett all in the distance trailer BJ's King 56 and 2 Rolo took over the lead from Bronco Leone and classic photo drove out from third on the way to the final turn Vino Camiel attending well from second over in fourth traveling light there in fifth. Great George two is sixth and third over and right back up into it. Seventh on the inside to turn for home. Lone Star Cosmos then Stonebridge Diablo and Barrett all and out of it is BJ's King into the top of the stretch. Rolo and Dave Miller. 125 and 2. 29 seconds in the third quarter. Never got rid of Classic Photo's first over move and Ron Pierce brings Classic Photo to the late stretch lead in the 2005 Good Time Stakes final. It's Classic Classic photo with a classic first over victory to Rolo. Stonebridge Diablo was alongside Traveling Light in the third and fourth place photographs. 153 and 1 for classic photo. Stakes record in the eighth. Eighth race winner returns to the Woodbine infield winner circle. It's number six, Classic Photo, SJ's Photo, three year old Bay Colt from Classic Winner.
did, in fact, give this guy a cool steer. Classic photo. Uh, he's given you the indication, obviously, that he's a top-level horse, Ron. Yes, he had. I, I raced him for Andy uh, Miller, Irvin Andy Miller at the, at the Meadowlands there, and uh, I was very impressed. He went easy, 53-4, and four, and then uh, Andy drove him. Uh, Andy had to go represent the United States in the World Drivers' Championship, so Irvin asked me if I could go with him uh, for this race, and uh, I was very happy he did. A stress-free trip here tonight, Ron? Uh, yes, it was. Uh, last week in the eliminations, we, uh, we, uh, he was shot a little different up front, and uh, he wasn't really getting a grip on the track, so uh, Irv made some adjustments on him and, uh, and really, uh, really had him sharp tonight. It looked as though he was getting a little bit fumbly towards the end of the mile. Uh, you kept hanging to him, though. Yeah, I had to hang on to him. Uh, he, he was a little fumbly uh, late in the mile, but uh, he's a nice little horse. Uh, as soon as he gets the ripples out, uh, uh, no telling where he, he, how fast he might be able to go. Hamble material? Oh, no, no doubt. No okay. question. All right, well, we'll see you back here as well later this year for the Canadian Trotting Classic if all goes well. Thank you very much. Ron Pierce, we're going to let him get his picture taken along with trainer Irv Miller and the rest of the gang. Classic photo wins the Good Time Stakes right here at Woodbine. In the Woodbine infield winner's circle making the presentation, John Bax, who was the trainer and co-owner of Canadian harness racing trotting legend Good Times, past winner of the Maple Leaf Trot, champion of the Ontario Sire Stakes, the trainer and co-owner of the great Good Times, who gave us so many memories, John Bax. Thank you for being at Woodbine this evening and making the winner's circle presentation to the connections of Good Time Stakes champion Classic Photo. Classic Photo put 1280 on the win ticket. The 6 1 exactor 6740. 6 1 and 8 try 953.40. And the pick three of the eighth race, $64.